Hey everyone, welcome back to the homestead. Today I am taking a little bit of a break from the greenhouse build and I am working on something for my chickens. Um, my chicken flock has doubled again, chicken math, and I don't have enough nest boxes for my chickens. Now right now that's okay because they're all going through molt and I'm only getting maybe one or two eggs a day. But I have noticed over the last couple days that there's been a little bit of an increase in egg production. And so I want to make sure that they have enough nest boxes once all of them are finished with their molt. And that way they're not fighting over nest boxes. Um, during the summer, I would find two or three hens trying to share a box. And that just ended up with the broken eggs and unhappy hens. And so we want to fix that today. I am going to be using some five gallon buckets. I just got these ones from my local Sam's Club bakery. They're $2 a bucket there. Um, at least at my Sam's Club they are. Um, I'm not sure about yours, but for, uh, for us here, it's $2 per bucket, which is super cheap. So that's what I'm using. And uh, let me show you where I'm gonna be putting them in the coop. All right, so excuse the mess, I just finished kind of cleaning everything out in here. Uh, but this was the original nest box. Um, I have some baskets that need to go back in here. They're currently drying. Um, but ideally you want one nest box per like three to four hens. And I need like eight or more nest boxes. So I'm gonna be adding uh, seven buckets today and they're gonna go over here on this wall and I'm gonna stack them. So they're gonna be facing me and I'm just gonna stack them here. And I think this is gonna work out really well. So I just need to build a frame for the buckets to sit on and be nice and secure so the hens aren't falling or knocking the buckets off the wall or, you know, chickens. So that the bedding and the eggs don't fall out of the bucket, I'm going to use the lids that I got with them, they're going to be secured on the front here, but I'm going to cut off this bit here and just leave a small portion at the bottom. And this will pre uh, prevent eggs from falling out, it'll keep the bedding in, um, and just kind of make this feel a little bit more snug as well. So that's what I'm going to be doing first. I'm going to go ahead and cut all of my lids so that they have that opening and then we will figure out how to build the frame to hold these snug and secure in the coop. So I just finished cutting out all of my lids. I'm just gonna snap those onto the buckets and then I'm going to now figure out how to make the frame that these are going to sit into um, or supports or something. I'm just 
kind of going to figure it out as I go. I'm going to be using a lot of scrap lumber that I have laying around that's just kind of odd sizes, weird shapes, and just isn't really useful for much of anything else. So yeah, let's just head back to the chicken coop and uh, figure out this project as we go.
I got the new nest boxes all finished and filled up with hay. I finished uh, cleaning up the coop here, got some new bedding in, and the girls are checking out the old nest boxes, and, and here's the new ones. I think it turned out all right. It's not, you know, the best craftsmanship, but it's sturdy. It's not going anywhere. And then I did, my phone died, but I did screw them with a screw in this bottom support. That way they can't get knocked off. I might end up putting another one through the top. But for right now, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. The girls like the new nest boxes and it gives them a little bit more space to lay eggs and be comfortable instead of being all squished up in the six nest boxes that I had. This doubles it. This gives them 12. Um, so hopefully they enjoy the new nest boxes. If you guys have any questions about how I did these new nest boxes, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. And then if you guys like my content, go ahead and hit the like button on your way out. And then if you hit the subscribe button, it lets you know when new videos are up on the channel. And it's a really great way to support me and my content and my homestead. And I really appreciate your subscribing to my channel. So thank you guys so much for watching and remember to grow where you're planted.